earlier this year, Facebook made some changes to its system and introduced secure browsing for its users. And by early April, more than 10 million Facebook users were already using secure browsing. And that number is increasing steadily month by month. Now, on the 1st of October 2011, very, very soon from now, Facebook are implementing another major change to their system. This change means that all Facebook fan pages and applications will be, require secure hosting for them to work with Facebook. So you must have your fan pages and your applications hosted on an HTTPS server. Now there are two ways you can get an HTTPS server. Either you can purchase an SSL certificate for your own domain or you can use a shared SSL certificate from your hosting company. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use a shared hosting certificate with Easy Fan Page Generator and have all your fan pages running from a secure server and be well in advance of the 1st of October date for getting your fan pages ready. Okay, let's first of all show you what happens when a user who's logged in securely tries to go to a fan page that doesn't have secure access. Here I've got the URLs of two uh, demonstration fan pages I've created. So let's go first of all to this one here. Let me just copy that URL. And here in Facebook you see I've got secure browsing enabled. So let's try and go to that first page. Now you see what happens here. It says turn off secure browsing. We can't display this content while you're viewing Facebook over a secure connection. So any user who's using a secure connection will never get to your page without first seeing a message like this and having to uh, switch off their secure browsing. Now, many users will think that this is a, a warning because there's some sort of virus on your page or something like that, and so will actually not bother coming to your page. So, what they've got to do, if they want to do it, they've got to press continue and do cancel. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a page which is set on a secure survey. Now, you notice here that it says HTTPS at the front of this uh, URL. So that, that means it's a secure page. So let me just paste that into my address bar and let's go to that one. So we're there. And our page comes up. So you see, if you've got a secure connection, all your pages will come up for anyone who's browsing with a secure connection. If you haven't, got a secure connection and let me go back to the previous page what will happen is the users will see a warning messages like this and the only way they can do it is to switch off their HTTPS connection okay now let's go and have a look and see how we actually go about setting up our fan pages with Easy Fan Page Generator over a secure connection on our secure server. Now that we've seen Facebook uh, secure browsing in operation, let's look at how we actually implement that uh, in Easy Fan Page Generator and some other considerations that. Uh, you, you need to remember when you're building your fan pages. Now, most hosting companies will provide you with a shared SSL certificate. Here's the URL for the HostGator uh, article that explains exactly how to use shared SSL on your hosting account if you're hosting at HostGator. Most of the hosting companies will have something very, very similar to this and you can adapt what I'm going to share with you in this video to your own hosting company's requirements and set up your shared hosting on your uh, own account. So let's just quickly look at what the uh, HostGator have to say here. Uh, how to set up your shared hosting. The real nuts and bolts of what you're looking for is further down here. 
it's showing you an example there of how to do it and the, the details are in this little section here again there'll be a similar sort of um, information on all hosting accounts so if you can't find it easily obviously ask your hosting company to explain where you find it um, with, with HostGator they explain here that you get the name of your server in the welcome email that you got when you set up the original account and they explain how to convert that into what you need for your uh, SSL certificate uh, URL to be able to use with uh, easy fan page generator now let's just look here this is what they're telling me here use something like this secure123.hostgator.com uh, slash squiggle bill okay now my hosting account that I'm using for this demonstration purpose uh, is under the name IB and let's go across to the WordPress blog where I've got the uh, easy fan page generator installed and you'll see it's here it's on their secure server 1498 and the account name is IB and if I just pull this out from here you see there's a setup of it there it goes HTTP secure 1498 hostgator.com IB fan page ssl.com slash ssl now that came from my hosting account and this is exactly where I'm going to put it in my blog I go down to settings and in settings I find the site address URL and the WordPress address URL and I put that in there so this is the information from HostGator so it's HostGator's domain my account the name of my domain and then whatever folder I happen to have my blog in this particular blog is set up in a folder called SSL so that's that's all there is to this part here that gets your blog itself working with SSL and then what happens is when we go and look on our fan pages and we look at all the information that's produced uh, for all the links that we put in at Facebook so I come down to the bottom where you see all the, the information you notice now that instead of having my domain name which happens to be fanpagessl.com it has here https colon slash slash secure1498 hostgator.com slash ib fanpagessl.com slash ssl so this is exactly what you want to put into Facebook for the site URL you put in hostgator.com not your own domain for the site domain the canvas page the canvas URL again it's an https setting with all the information on the tab name the tab URL it's all being generated for you by easy fan page generator so it's simple for you and also down here you've got it in a little uh, text area and you can just right click and select all copy and you could paste that into a notepad so let's put it in there where I had this um, section so there we've got all the settings that we need for setting up our secure settings at Facebook and we can just go back to Facebook and copy all of these settings direct into the app page on Facebook just like you do for the normal HTTP settings that you've always done with easy fan page generator now you just use these settings here instead of the original settings and you get a working SSL uh, compliant fan page now there's another couple of things that you need to consider um, when you're running SSL on fan pages and that is that all the links that you have to images and scripts and things like that need to be HTTPS links because otherwise the visitor to your pages will get warnings about HTTP connections and it will say do, do they want to see the non-secure items so you want to try and avoid that if possible now in particular one of the things that you need to consider here is if you're using a header image like I'm using here let me just go up and find it here I'm using this header image on my page so I need to have the URL for that as a secure image so again here I've got it and it's got my HostGator secure image URL now how did I get that? Well, what I did I uploaded this image via WordPress's own 
upload. So I came here to one of my editor boxes, I clicked on the add an image and I did select files and I uploaded it from my computer. Now what I can now do is I can go to the media library and find that image. So here it is here, it's my mini site header, this one here. If I just click show, it shows me the image and all the details about it. Now it may be that if you're using it somewhere uh, in one of your editing areas you've set this link URL to none so that you don't get the blue box around the image. If that's the case and this is blank then all you need to do to find out the secure URL that you want to use wherever you link to this particular image just click file URL and it will put that in there. That's the secure URL to this image. So you can just right click copy and then go and paste it wherever you want. So it's as simple as that. But remember you must do this with all your images. Um, if you're inserting any JavaScripts or CSLs or CSSs, anything like that, any images uh, that you're wanting to link to from other websites, then they must always be HTTPS images. So you see it's very simple to set everything up. Uh, main part is what I showed you before. Let's just quickly go back and look at that one more time before we finish now. That was in the settings. Get the information from your hosting account of where your uh, shared SSL certificate is and how to create the URLs that you want to use and then come here to WordPress address and site address and insert those there and then everything works as SSL from that point onwards.